Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about my new gimbal. Now a few people have noticed in my last videos that I've started introducing some camera movement. Now that's because I've purchased the DJI Ronin RSC2. Now this is a gimbal and in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the functions and give you some demos of what you can do with it. Now I will say at this point that I am completely not sponsored by DJI. I have bought this with my own money so everything I say is going to be completely honest and hopefully will help you to enjoy your photography. So as I said in the introduction, the model that I've bought is the DJI Ronin RSC2, but I've also upgraded it to the Pro Combo, and what that gives you is this little gadget underneath, which is called the Raven Eye, and that allows you to do lots of really cool stuff that I'll talk about later in the video. You might be completely unfamiliar with what a gimbal is. Now basically, it helps to create a much smoother shot. Now if you watch what happens to the camera as I pick it up, the camera stays nice and level. However I move the gimbal around, the camera is staying on the same axis. And it doesn't matter how much movement I put in, all of that movement is smoothed out by some really clever software inside the gimbal. Also what I can do is I've got access to a joystick here at the back that will move the camera in a much smoother way than I could do if I was doing it handheld. So I can move the camera in all kinds of directions and get some really interesting shots. What you get with the pack is the, the gimbal itself, lots of accessories like a focus motor and a phone holder and a case. I'm not going to go through every single um, accessory. What I'll do is I'll put a full list down below in the description. When you first pick up the RSC2, you notice how comfortable it is to hold. You've got a really good, solid rubberized grip. And then on the back, there are a lot of controls um, to access the functions of the gimbal. So there's an LCD screen, which is an upgrade from previous versions. You don't have to go into your phone to access the functions. You can do a lot of it directly from the back of the gimbal. There's also a joystick and a scroll wheel to access um, the menus. On the front of the gimbal, there's a further two controls. Now these are really useful. There's a scroll wheel that you can assign different functions to. Now it comes set as standard to focus, so you can change the focus of the camera, but I've changed this to change the aperture of the camera. So if the, the brightness of a scene changes during filming, I can quickly change the aperture so I can carry on with the shot just using this scroll wheel. There's also a trigger on the front. Now you can use that to lock the gimbal so it doesn't move about or with a quick triple click of the button, the camera will turn into selfie mode to face you and then a double click will point it back the way it was facing. It's a really good idea to download the Ronin app because it gives you access to lots of extra um, controls that you can set up in the gimbal, such as the speed that the gimbal moves, but you also get lots of other cool features such as this. You can make the camera move using what's called force mobile. So if I move my mobile in any direction, the camera matches it perfectly and it doesn't matter how small I make those movements, the camera matches it. That's really cool. But also you've got functions such as um, a virtual joystick so you can move it about using your phone. You can take a panorama, you can take a time lapse and what, will, what it will do with the panorama is it will take a picture, it will move it a little bit, take another one, move the camera again, take another one and do that over a series of photos that is completely assignable from the app. The RSC2 has a maximum payload of three kilograms, so it's been tested to that much, which is really a good size DSLR with uh, a, probably a 100 millimeter lens. Now I'd easily be able to use my Z6 II or my D850 on this, no problem at all. But my vlogging camera that's on there at the moment is the M50, which is fairly lightweight anyway, so it has no problem with that. But the RSC2 motors are 50% more powerful than the previous model. 
Now you might be unaware, if you've never had a gimbal before, that it needs balancing before you use it. Now you can see that this gimbal is completely unlocked and the camera will move about in all directions, but when I let it go, it stays in place. And that shows that it's balanced correctly. And it means that the motors don't have to work harder than they need to, to keep the camera stabilized. Now to achieve that, you might notice that just here, I've got a focus motor sticking out of the front. Now, usually that shouldn't be there. It's not actually doing anything except providing a counterbalance because the camera is quite light um, and it hasn't got a big lens on the front. Um, there's nothing to balance the, the gimbal forward and I can't move the camera any further forward because just here I've got two cables coming out of the camera that prevent it going forward any further. So that focus motor is unfortunate it needs to be there but it's an essential part for the counterbalance. Looking at other people talking about this, um, they've, they've said how much easier it is to balance than other models have been. Now I've got no experience of that because I've never had another gimbal, but it is really easy. Um, basically because you can click some little switches here, here and here. And what that does is it locks all three axes into place. So then what you can do is you can unlock one at a time. So this is this direction. And just here, there's a thumb screw that lowers and raises the camera. So you can get that bit perfectly balanced. When you're happy with that, you can lock that off and then do the next one, which is here and get that axis balanced perfectly. And then do the same for the bottom one in that direction. Very simple, very quick. And the advantage is that once it's set up, um, if you've got to change the battery in the camera, you just slide it off because it's a, an Arca Swiss plate. You change the battery, you put the camera back into place and it's good to go again. Now, the final thing I'm going to talk about before I go outside and give you some demos of this is this little box underneath. Now, this comes with the Pro Combo, or, or you can buy it as an extra add-on um, once you've bought the gimbal in the first place, but it's called the Raven Eye. And what this allows you to do is transmit video at 1080p with a latency of 60 milliseconds to your mobile phone. Um, now, this will work over a range of 200 meters, apparently. I've not tested that, but but, um, that's what the specs say but also and what really really attracted me to this um, little gadget is the fact that it's got active track installed now if you're familiar with the DJI drones you can get them to follow you while you're filming but this does exactly the same thing you can lock onto a subject and the camera will follow that subject which is how I've managed to get those shots in my previous videos of me walking through the frame. I'm going to go outside and we're going to have a look at how that works. Just before I get into the demonstration, I want to mention my new range of merchandise that I've got on offer on my Teespring store. There's lots of great new designs there, so go and check those out because it really helps to support the channel. This is how I had my camera set up inside with the tripod attachment on. Now, you can use this tripod attachment as an extra handle so it gives you more leverage when you're filming things. So that's quite useful, but I don't actually use it most of the time when I'm filming outside. I have it attached to a full-size tripod, which I'll show you in a second. I've taken the gimbal off the small little tripod and put it on my full size tripod. Now this is what I normally use when I'm out filming vlogs um, because I can leave the camera alone and go and talk to the camera as I'm doing now and still film myself. But this um, tripod, it's not the best tripod, but I use it because it's light. And when I'm carrying all the other equipment, I need something that's fairly light, but even so with the weight of the gimbal and the tripod, it's still fairly heavy. Heavy. So what I've done is I've found one of my old straps from my camera bags um, and I use it to help me carry the gimbal so it takes all the weight off. Now at the moment I'm filming myself on the gimbal in selfie mode handheld. So even though my hand's moving quite a bit, the image is still quite still. But if I double click the, the front button, the camera will spin round and now it's facing away from me so I can look at where I was just facing and I can walk around 
filming and hopefully this should be quite smooth. Now I'm still getting used to using this and making the images as smooth as possible, but you can see the potential. So what I'm going to do next is show you the active track. Now what this does is it allows the camera to follow me as I'm moving. It's a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is connect your phone to the Raven Eye. That's done over Wi-Fi through the app. It's a very quick and easy process. Once that's done, you can then see everything that your camera sees on your phone so you can set up the composition. And then finally, you just need to draw a green square around the person that you want to track. And then the camera will follow you as you move. I'm still getting used to a lot of the functions in the gimbal, so I'm not really using it to its full potential, but I do find that it really improves the quality of my vlogs. I've not had any problem with battery life. Um, apparently they will last for 14 hours, but what I do is I turn the gimbal off when I'm not using it, so I've had absolutely no problems there. I have had a few problems with the active track locking on to me. Sometimes it doesn't lock on, it wangs about and doesn't quite find me. I don't know why that is if I move back the camera follows me again and wangs about and if I've got another little tiny nitpick those um, lock axis lock screws are a little bit fiddly at times I am just a little bit disappointed as well that I've got to put the focus motor on the front to balance it I, um, I probably need some kind of better waiting at the front just to balance the camera up but other than that I'm really happy with the gimbal if you would like your own you can purchase the RSC2 for £389 and with the pro combo pack it goes up to £569 I do hope you've enjoyed that video. I definitely intend to use this gimbal lots more in my future videos, so keep an eye out for the camera movement. Perhaps you'll have a little bit more insight now into how I achieve that. Um, as always, with any photographer, buying a new bit of kit gives you that extra bit of inspiration to get out. Now, if you've got any questions about this gimbal, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at Dioukdun Photography. Leave me your questions there and I'll try and answer as many of them as possible. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, then don't forget you can go over to my Teespring store where I've got a new range of merchandise on offer, lots of new designs, so go and check those out. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you stay up to date with all all of my future content and it really helps me out also go and check out this video up here watch out for next week's video that goes live at four o'clock on sunday but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon